So have you ever thought about what happens to what you flush down the toilet? I know this may seem like a gross thing to really talk about, but I believe it's something that a lot of people don't really know a lot about or don't care to fully understand about. But it's something that's very important, and especially for future homeowners out there to be able to fully understand. Now, there's normally two types of systems. These are septic systems and city sewer systems. Now, your septic systems are wastewater systems that are in more rural places that aren't easily accessible by main roads. And the thing about this system is it is your own system. You own it. It's on your land. It doesn't run to anybody else's land. It's yours. So if there's a problem with it, you have to pay to fix it. These systems normally need to be paid and need to be pumped out and cleaned every four to seven years minimum. It just depends on how many people are living in the house and how much water they use from day to day, whether it's washing clothes, taking a shower, taking a bath, running the dishwasher. I mean, anything that uses water in the house is normally tied into the septic tank unless you tie in, unless you take out your washing machine line and just run it outside somewhere if you live in a rural area where you can do that but you can't do that in neighborhoods so it's not very common but these systems are normally about a thousand gallons the tanks are and the waste comes from in the house it fills the tank with water and solids and those solids that come into the tank stay in the tank but while the water runs into the tank it also runs out of the back of the tank into your drain field which is in your yard and the, sand, and the only thing that goes out of there is just kind of like the dirty, mucky water. It's not really like black sewer water that you would imagine. It's just kind of dingy water. But it drains out of the back of the tank and into your drain field. And it gets filtered by the sand and all on the ground. So it's not really, if it's all working properly, it's not going to be an issue. Some systems may have 1,500-gallon tanks. It just depends on how many how many people are in the house or how many bathrooms a house has or how many people they're expecting to live in that certain area and normally on those systems you'll have 150 to 200 foot of drain lines when you have that many people in the house but a normal system you'll have 80 to 100 foot of drain field then you have city sewer systems these are wastewater systems that are owned by the county and the only thing that you really own in this system is the pipe that comes from inside of your house, out, out from under the side of your house, and where it goes in to tie into the main sewer. Now, sewer taps are pretty expensive, so normally homeowners wouldn't choose to go to sewer. I mean, it's just, it's just normally a preference. It, I mean, where it's, where it's available, it's normally a preference. But sometimes you have to go in the sewer because the yard might be really small and you won't be able to get enough, enough drain field in there in your yard to be sufficient for your water usage so sometimes that just makes it to where you have to tie into sewer and another downfall to sewer is you have to make a make a sewer payment by how much water you use so you have to pay on that monthly i believe and these sewer systems are in newer neighborhoods like say hunters crossing and lugoff that's a new one that's all sewer there's one off of number one in elgin right by the dollar general that's all sewer that's close to Hunter's Crossing, but it's all sewer. They can use as much water as they want. They just have to pay that pay that bill. And this is a type of waste that normally runs alongside roads into large water pipes and these sewer lines then run into lift stations that pump the sewer from, from low areas up to the wastewater treatment center. You're probably thinking, where does all this waste go? Like when it's pumped out of a septic tank or when it's flushed down a toilet in a sewer system, it all goes to a wastewater treatment center. There's one off of Longtown Road in Lugoff. That's really the only one I can think of. I know there's some in Elgin. There's one in Camden. But they all do the same thing. Um, the water runs in. The dirty water runs in through many different filtration and treatment areas. And then it's pumped. It's actually pumped back into the river. Yes, it is pumped into Watery River. It's nasty. I understand. I was shocked when I first learned. But it said that after it's treated that it's basically drinkable but i'm not going to be the one to test that out but it's pretty clean when it comes out they do a good job kind of have to you know with all the regulations and everything but yeah that's how a sewer and septic system works